In light of the sexual abuse scandal sweeping the entertainment industry, the media, and Washington, D.C., we need to talk about creepy Uncle Joe. Well, that's not my invention. That's what the Washington Post labelled him back in 2015. Although written in a weird tongue-in-cheek style, the article cites numerous instances where Joe Biden made women uncomfortable by touching and grabbing them. But here's something way creepier than that. The way Uncle Joe behaves around children. Now, let's be clear. Joe Biden has admitted no wrongdoing. No accusations of sexual harassment have been leveled against him, at least publicly. Everyone is innocent until proven guilty. But we need to talk about this because one Twitter thread alone, posted by activist and commentator Richard Mills, highlighting the subject, has been retweeted nearly 20,000 times. This is going viral. Biden is also signaling that he plans to run for president in 2020. Current polls show that Biden would beat Trump. This could become a major issue on the campaign trail. So let's take a look. This is probably the most famous example. Biden leans uncomfortably close to a 13-year-old girl, whispers something in her ear, then tries to kiss her as she instinctively jerks away. Thank you. actually made the news at the time. They said the 13-year-old girl, Margaret Coons, didn't think what Biden said or did was creepy. Except she didn't say anything. It was her father, Senator Christopher Coons, who claims she said that. I reached out to Margaret Coons to clarify whether or not she thought it was creepy and to ask her what Biden said. I received no response. The official story is that Biden was reassuring the girl that his own daughter was 13 when he was sworn in and not to be nervous about being in front of cameras. Except that in all the years Biden was sworn in as senator, his daughter was never at the age of 13. But I'm sure that that's all completely normal. In this clip, Biden appears to grope the chest area of a little girl. The close-up shows her visibly pull away right as it happens. But I'm sure that's completely normal. Biden seems to have a thing for touching, smelling, and stroking girls' hair, as seen in this clip. But I'm sure that's completely normal. In this clip, Biden strokes the girl's hair before whispering something in her ear. He then asks for a picture with the girl alone. Can I have one with just alone? There's it. Oh. Senator Jim Rich then says, Dad's going to stand pretty close. Oh. Dad's going to stand pretty close. <laughs> Biden appears to tell the girl, quote, if I was young. By the way, I was young. <laughs> but I'm sure that's all completely normal. In this clip, Biden kisses a young girl three times as she squirms uncomfortably while he says, don't tell anybody. But I'm sure that's completely normal. In this clip, Biden tells a girl, quote, no serious guys until you're 31, which is one of his favorite things to say to children. Lucky man. <laughs> Lucky man. He's having fun. Thank you, sir. <laughs> no serious guys until you're 31. He then poses with the girl for a photo while putting his hand around her midriff. Whispers something into her ear. <laughs> but I'm sure that's completely normal. In this clip, Biden asks another of his favorite questions how old the child is. Come on over. Before weirdly stroking the face of her younger sister. The 
mother seems keen to leave quickly. But I'm sure that's all completely normal. In this clip, Biden again tells a young girl, no dating until you're 30, before putting his hand near her breast. Do you remember what I told you last time I saw you? Do you remember what I told you? Smile. No, not smile. No date till you're 30. <laughs> sure that's completely normal. In this clip, a young girl catches Biden's attention. He then asks the six-year-old girl if she's 17. Child, how old are you, 17? Oh, six. He then begins stroking the girl's face before her mother draws attention to the cameras. Yes, what do you think about all those cameras? Biden then strokes the girl's hair again and tells her... You guessed it. No dates or boys to get 30 years old. <laughs> he then strokes her hair and kisses her again. He then grabs on her face and hair again. But I'm sure that's completely normal. In this clip where Biden is meeting three teenage girls, he trots out his favorite line. Three teenage. I want to know. You have a favorite thing. Oh, I got a concertina one. All right, good. You need it. Just remember, no serious guys. One girl then calls out for her dad. Okay, here we go. Well, let's get the senator in here. And appears in a rush to leave the room. But I'm sure that was completely normal. The former vice president's behavior appears to extend to females of all ages. Here's Uncle Joe grabbing Ashton Carter's wife, Stephanie, before smelling her hair. She's obviously uncomfortable. But I'm sure that's completely normal. But seriously, imagine how the left would react if it was President Trump behaving like Joe Biden did. They'd be up in arms. They'd be calling for an investigation. Remember, they freaked out when Trump said he'd date his own daughter, which admittedly was a bit odd. So what about this? Last week, a Secret Service agent told Cassandra Fairbanks that Biden would, quote, mess with every single woman or teen, and that a Christmas get-together at the VP's house had to be cancelled Quote, because Biden would grow pull of our wives and girlfriends' asses. He also said that the service often had to protect female agents from him and that Biden was prone to parading around the VP residence late at night with no clothes on. I mean, stark, naked, Weinstein-level stuff, said the agent. During one alleged incident in 2009, Biden cupped the breast of a Secret Service agent's girlfriend during a photo, prompting the agent to shove Biden and almost hit him. The agent was subsequently suspended for a week, according to the source. Men would often stand in front of female agents and Navy women or create false pretenses to have them leave the room just to get them away from Biden, according to the agent. Best-selling author Ronald Kessler previously claimed in his book that Biden was fond of swimming naked and that female Secret Service agents found that offensive. Congress has paid out $17 million in secret settlements to victims of sexual harassment. Now again, this is just an accusation, but former Trump campaign official James Brower claims that Joe Biden is one of the individuals named in these sealed settlement deals. It would be incredibly naive to think that this isn't going to come up, if Biden runs for president in 2020. Indeed, many on the left are terrified that it could sink Biden's campaign and hand Trump a second term. The Huffington Post, Salon.com and The Daily Beast have all published articles recently begging Biden not to run for office.